Are you talking about with Firefly? I mean, uh, would I just take the cap off and, and hit the button? Is that pretty much what I'm doing? Even you can operate this thing, <laughs> Jeff. You got it. That's all I have to do. Push the button, release it, hold it away from your body, reasonably still, reasonably level, and it'll tell you which way the wind is drifting. And how often does this update itself? It gives you your first reading at three seconds. It right. samples 512 times a second. At three seconds, it'll give you a reading. It'll give you another one at four seconds, five, six, seven. And after eight seconds, it'll give you the final reading, and it'll shut itself off. One other thing I should mention, Jeff, push that button one more time. The way the unit is designed, it's impossible for it to give you an incorrect reading. If it senses the wind drift is coming from more than one direction at a time, or a sensor senses it over here and it senses it over here at the same time, after eight seconds it'll flash all of the LEDs like that, telling you that it couldn't get a precise indication. All you do at that point, hold it out, hit the button, and do it again. If it gets a precise direction, it'll actually light one LED. If the wind is drifting between two sensors, it'll mm -hmm. actually light them both. The product itself is a combination of electrical engineering design and physical form factor design such that the tough polycarbonate top is actually designed in such a way to guide the wind drifts across the dial so that the wind, drift, wind direction can be determined. When you first turn on the unit, it immediately, all of the LEDs will light and it will start sampling the wind drift 512 times a second. There's eight sensors across the surface of this dial and each of those sensors starts to sample wind drift 64 times per second. Beginning at three seconds, you get your first reading. So it'll go off, sample 512 times a second. The first indication will come at three. It'll give you another reading at four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight seconds, it'll automatically time itself out and shut itself off. So if you take it out of your pocket, hit the button, catch the wind drift. In this case, we can see the wind is drifting from the west. Just put the cap on, throw it back in your pocket. You don't have to turn it off. It's not like a flashlight. It'll turn itself off. There's a couple other attributes of this that are very, very unique. First of all, it does have a, a compass on the top so you can determine cardinal direction as well. If you want to be able to tell one of your buddies or determine which way the wind drift is, you might come out in the morning before you're setting out to set decoys, walk outside the back door or climb out of your truck, hit the button, test the wind, and determine for that particular day the wind is in the wrong direction for one particular blind, but it's the perfect direction for another blind. Ditto for big game hunting. Now this product itself, someone asked me, well, gee, how waterproof can it be? First of all, it's 100% waterproof with the cap on. If, you, if you're duck hunting, you throw it overboard, it's going to float. But in addition to that, it's a lot more bulletproof. If, in fact, you actually get the electro electronics wet, obviously, if there's drops of water and snow on there, it's going to affect the wind drift. But if you blow it off, you clean it off, fire it up, it'll work. In addition to that, the electronics themselves are actually sealed waterproof on the bottom of the board. If you actually took the battery cover off and threw this thing in a bucket of water and filled it to where it sank into the bottom, you literally could hit the button before you did that and the LEDs would still be going <laughs> on the bottom. Now obviously we don't recommend that and in theory that voids the warranty. But it only voids the warranty because if you don't dry it out, the battery terminals will corrode. But the reality is you could take it out of that bucket, shake the water out of it, put the batteries in there, fire it up and it'll work because the bottom of the electronics themselves are actually sealed waterproof. Try that with your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Had a few experiences myself uh, with some salt water and cell phones and cameras, and it's not a pretty picture. So. <laughs> We've all been there, which is why we designed this to be something that is, you know, frankly, very, very bulletproof when it comes to adverse weather conditions. The unit itself, we mentioned power draw and power consumption earlier. It operates on two AAA batteries. It operates darn near forever. Frankly, we guarantee at least 500 activations out of a single pair of batteries, but the math suggests, the calculation suggests that you can get triple that. The unit itself is just over four inches long. It's just over an inch and a half in diameter. It weighs two ounces without batteries and just over three ounces with the batteries themselves.